we released our revised corporate ratings criteria for determining the issuer credit ratings of corporate industrial companies and utilities on November 19th. The revised criteria provide greater clarity, enhance global ratings comparability while maintaining analytic judgment. Now that we've published the revised criteria, any rating issued moving forward will be governed by the new criteria. Any new ratings that are in process will also be governed by the new criteria. You can find the criteria articles on the website shown on the screen below. I want to emphasize that we'll be able to meet all new issue and issuer credit ratings requests during the next few weeks. We don't expect any change in our existing business practices in terms of meeting ratings requests and processing ratings actions in a timely manner. Ratings issued after the publication of the criteria will be managed according to our normal process and will be analyzed under the new criteria. Ratings performance across global corporate ratings is good, so we don't expect criteria to significantly change our fundamental approach. Revised criteria, again, is designed to help provide greater clarity, enhance global ratings comparability while maintaining analytic judgment. Approximately 5% of global ratings are expected to change. That's about 200 issuer credit ratings. We expect an upward bias with upgrades outnumbering downgrades by nearly three to one. But we don't expect any meaningful sector, regional, or ratings level concentration with the exception of utilities. The majority of changes are likely to be one notch, about less than 10% will exceed one notch, and that's fewer than 20 issuer credit ratings. No credit ratings have changed yet. All 4,000 in-scope ratings have been placed under criteria observation, which means that they're being reassessed due to the introduction of our new criteria. Soon, the potentially affected issuers will be placed on credit watch, and we will contact the issuer prior to press releases being distributed. We plan to resolve the credit watches within one month after credit watch placement. We will host seminars and one-on-one -on -one meetings around the world to help provide market constituents with a better understanding of the changes made to our corporate ratings criteria. In the meantime, I invite you to visit our website shown on the screen below to view an interactive visual model of our new corporate ratings criteria framework and to access criteria articles and informative Credit Matters TV videos.